Okay, so your sales talents walk through the door on day one. It's very exciting. Everyone's motivated to onboard the new sales talent and get going. And everyone's motivated to onboard the sales talent quickly so they can get on with their job. That's not how you onboard successful sales talent. That used to be me. Remember when I said I was a little bit shit at onboarding sales talent? I just want to get them in, done, dusted out as quickly as possible. Then what happens is, as I said earlier, no. Uh, no performance, no hitting ROIs, no doing the basics of sales, going out and representing myself and my business in an unprofessional and unclear manner. And that never works well. So from day one, you are the prize. You need to show that you know what you're doing. So you will already have everything set up. You'll have phones, you'll have cars, you'll have whatever you've promised in the interview. They're ready to go. Computer's done. The candidate will have the company manual in front of them, the manual that they're going through, which outlines exactly how they do things. You know, if you want to, if you need to be traveling, what do you do? What's the allowance? Uh, how do you book travel? All that sort of stuff. This is an important part of the first day's process. You're also outlining what the next 90 days looks like. And we're going to get into that in the next video. But what is the 90 day training process? What does that look like? When do they hit the road? What KPIs do they have to get? And depending on the degree of sales talent and the experience of the sales talent, it might not be my 90 days, it might be 60, it might be 30, depending on how experienced the sales talent is and what industry relevant experience they may have. But it's important on day one. And on day one, what training are you going to be giving these people? Yes, you've got internal training, and that's extremely important, features and benefits. But are you going to involve an external sales facilitator? Remember, buyers buy differently than how they used to buy. And so it's always important, for me anyway, that any new sales talent gets interacted, interaction with an external sales facilitator. And there's a lot out there. There's a lot of sales facilitators out there. They're going to be to help you uh, employ and onboard and train your new sales talent. I would select a facilitator that has relevant experience with businesses like yours, that um, runs live events. Um, you know, online and virtual is great, but that doesn't have the accountability. So whoever you engage with, make sure they're engaging one on one with your sales talent. Make sure also that the facilitator that you choose has ongoing training because it's great and you know a one off training is better than nothing but let's face it what happens is a one off training for a one or two hours the facilitator goes away the sales talent goes away and then it's forgotten it's a complete waste of time both the facilitator and yours so that's how i would i would select a training facilitator and put that as part of your onboarding process for each of your new sales talent members. And then you've got your own internal training that has to happen. Um, products, features, benefits, how you do things, how the business does things, what's the purpose, what's the mission of your business. All this needs to be understood and articulated by the new talent. And this all starts day one.